Let's begin with this bone. The name of this bone is radius, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you. The radius, I hope you can see number 58, this is pointing at this rim, that's the head of the radius. And this space right here, we call that the neck of the radius. This structure right here, this is called the radial tuberosity. Really important structure, radial tuberosity. As you go further down, take a look, number 59 is pointing at this little projection and we call that the styloid process of the radius. So 59 is the styloid process of the radius. If I flip it for you, this right here, that's called the ulnar notch. The ulnar notch is named after its articulation. So if I put the ulna and the radius together, take a look. Oh, I'm gonna take this one, this one's better. So the ulna is right here, and we call that the radial notch, hence the head of the radius articulates down over here. And then take a look. This, that's the head of the ulna, and it's going to articulate at the ulnar notch right there. So up here it looks this way and take a look down over here that way so remember this is the ulna and the ulna has the radial notch and this is the radius and the radius contains the ulnar notch so do you see how the heads of the bones do not meet each other the head of the radius is up over here while the head of the ulna is down over here. So they're opposite to each other.